Hey guys, so this is just a quick little video to explain to you what you need to be doing today. Um, you have your final tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, it's going to be covering just the material that we've learned for our digital days. So it's just on geometry, um, covering angle relationships like supplementary, complementary, vertical angles, how to solve for a value, a missing value or a missing angle based off of those angle relationships. Um, we have triangles on there, so the you know the knowledge that uh, the triangle sum theorem, um, you know all three angles together should be 180 degrees. Uh, it's going to have cross sections on there. Uh, there's going to be circles, so area and circumference of circles. You're going to have volume of rectangular and triangular prisms and composite area. So that's all your geometry, and then it's going to have everything that we've done so far for the real numbers unit. So you know, square roots, perfect square roots and perfect cube roots, uh, knowing how to identify if something is rational or irrational. So remember, irrational is a number that in its decimal form can never stop. It'll keep going on forever and ever and ever, and it'll never repeat either. So pi, pi is the most famous um, irrational number that we've ever talked about. So those are, uh, you need to know how to compare those. Uh, you need to know how to put um, numbers in order from least to greatest, both rational and irrational numbers. You know, need to know how to estimate an irrational number, so what two integers, you know, uh, like square root of 20 is in between, you know, four and five. Um, then you need to know how to find them on a number line, uh, so which we've done plenty of those examples as well. If you find the square root using your calculator, which will be on the exam, um, you can estimate where on the number line it should be. Uh, you need to know how to do your exponent rules. So product means that if you're multiplying two bases, you add the exponents. If you're doing the quotient, dividing the two bases, you subtract the exponents. Um, if you have a base with more than one exponent, then you multiply those exponents. If it's a zero exponent, it always equals one. And if it's a negative exponent, you just flip it upside down, turn it into a fraction. One is the numerator, and the denominator is the exact same base, but now a positive exponent instead. So you need to know those exponent rules. And that's pretty much it. As long as you have a good, clear understanding of all that material, you'll be fine. And a bonus, you get to use your notes. So make sure that you have all of your notes gathered together and that you um, are using them appropriately. Don't go off and share with anybody. Um, you cannot share or talk or discuss the answers during the test. Just make sure you have all your notes with you. And good luck. You guys have this. I know you're going to do just fine. If you have any questions or if you need to have a personal Zoom session um, prior to the exam, you are more than welcome to text me and we can have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session to help get you prepared. And that's it. Good luck.